When you're in financial trouble, when you're in debt, you stop digging. You don't borrow more money. Governor Bevan announces his proposed budget for Kentucky that includes spending cuts and help for the state's pension system. New details have been released about a deadly explosion at a southern Kentucky home. What people who live nearby told us tonight. And it looked like a geyser. What caused all of this water to gush out of the ground in a Lexington neighborhood today? This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. Immediate spending cuts and fixing what he calls Kentucky's financial troubles without taking on debt. Tonight, the governor unveiled his first proposed budget to state lawmakers. The governor is calling for cuts across the board while promising to protect spending for K-12 through education, Medicaid, and law enforcement. And he's putting a priority on state pensions. Garrett Weimer has our top story at 11. We cannot borrow our way out of debt, nor will we try. Nor will we try. Governor Matt Bevin's budget proposal would cut baseline spending by $650 million. A long list of exemptions from those cuts includes Veterans Affairs, financial aid, public safety, and Medicaid. When you're in financial trouble, when you're in debt, you stop digging. You don't borrow more money. There'll be discussions about that, but I'll tell you right now, I will not sign any bill. I will not sign any budget that encumbers future generations with debt that we refuse to take responsibility for today. We will not do it. Governor Bevan asked lawmakers at a joint session to work together to make the difficult choices needed to pay for the state's pension system. Let people all over America know that Kentuckians take care of each other. He says his proposal would add more than a billion dollars in new money to the pension system for state workers and teachers over the next two years. It also includes pay raises for state police and bond funding for Lexington's Convention Center project. Bevin detailed his plan for more than an hour, ending by asking folks to hold lawmakers accountable. Let them know you want us to spend your money as if it is your money, because it is. Thank you and God bless you. At the Capitol, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The Lexington Center bond funding would total $60 million. The governor says the spending cuts could include state employee layoffs, but he's leaving that up to his cabinet secretaries. You can look through the entire proposed budget on our website, WKYT.com. Tonight, we're learning more about a house explosion in Adair County that investigators say killed at least one person and three people are still missing. The house exploded this afternoon along M. Coomer Road just outside of Columbia. This picture from the Adair Progress shows the house in flames after the explosion. New tonight, our Monique Blair talked to a woman who lives right down the road. I said it's so upsetting and he said, well, you should have been here when it happened. Rhonda Burton lives across the street from the home that burst into flames Tuesday afternoon. She wasn't home when it happened, but her husband was. He thought something had hit our house. That's how big the explosion was. By the time Rhonda got home from work, and the house was already on the ground. As emergency responders fought the fire, they realized it had tragic results. As a result of that fire, which they've been fighting since then, even up until this point, uh, we can confirm that there is at least one fatality. Three people are also still unaccounted for. Now, Kentucky State Police aren't letting us get very close to that home, so you really can't tell what's going on several yards behind me here. And they say it's because it's still a very active investigation, also because firefighters are still working to put the fire out. It's still smoldering now, no flames, but firefighters will stay on the scene to ensure that the house doesn't reignite. Detectives will continue their search Wednesday morning. Once once the visibility is better. Police say they don't know what started this fire, but there is a gas well on the property and they know there was some sort of explosion. You know, typically if a house just burns, it typically burns on top of itself, but the debris field uh, is scattered as if it exploded. Police tell me the situation is not only very sad, but also not something they respond to often. In my 24 or 5 year career, uh, I don't know that I've ever heard of a house exploding. In Adair County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Investigators have not released the names of the person who died or the three people who are still missing. Now to a developing national story we're tracking tonight. Authorities say the leader of an armed group that's occupied a national wildlife refuge in Oregon for weeks is now in custody. They say police arrested Eamon Bundy along with several other people tonight. 
Police say shots were fired during the arrest, but would not release more details on that. The group has been protesting federal land use policies. Today, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray announced he is running for U.S. Senate. He filed paperwork in Frankfurt this morning to run for the Democratic nomination. Republican Senator Rand Paul is the incumbent. Mayor Gray said Washington is filled with dysfunction and gridlock, and he wants to change that. The American dream is slipping away. And unfortunately, Washington is part of the problem. He also said his first priority would be creating jobs in Kentucky. He claimed Senator Paul isn't focused on the state right now because he's running for president. Senator Paul's campaign responded by saying he works hard for Kentuckians with a 94% voting attendance record in the Senate. Seven Democrats and three Republicans are running for the Senate seat. We have a full list at WKYT.com. New tonight, voters in London have approved a proposal to expand alcohol sales in that city. London already allows alcohol sales by the drink in restaurants, but during today's special election, voters were asked if they wanted to allow alcohol package sales as well. The yes side won by more than 300 votes. Alcohol sales are already allowed in nearby Corbin and Barberville. Temperatures are much cooler compared to this time last night. So what's in store for our Wednesday? Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has an early look at your forecast, Chris. More in the way of a seasonal chill that is filling the air out there this evening, Amber. Temperatures right around freezing and dropping, so we've got to watch out now for a little refreezing of the slush and the wet roads may try to ice up on us in a few cases, especially those untreated roads. Northwesterly wind doing its thing now. Cold front that blew through here early today is off to our south and southeast and look upstream where the air is coming from. Notice all the clouds that are showing up from Indy back toward the Chicago land area all the way into parts of the western Great Lakes. Well, that's where the air is coming from, so stands to reason we're going to hang on to a fair amount of clouds, not only tonight, but into the day tomorrow as well. That Defender Radar Network has nothing going on across central and eastern Kentucky outside of a little stray snowflake here or there. Temperatures going below freezing, 31 Lexington, Frankfurt. A cool spot is up in northern Kentucky, Covington checking in at 30 degrees. Let's throw the winds into the mix. Now your body's talking about a temperature that feels like it is 21 degrees. We will at times see a wind chill dropping into the teens. A few flurries on the move, then we track that big warm up for the weekend, but already signs of colder changes as we go into next week. We will have a brand new hour by hour forecast, and we will look long range, guys, toward that all important warm up for the weekend and just how long it will last. The hour by hour expanded into next week coming up. All right, we will see you then, Chris. Thank you. The owner of a Casey County business said it's going to take him a while to recover from the winter storm. The heavy snow caused the building to collapse. No one was inside the Scott Gate Company when it collapsed over the weekend. The owner also thinks that everything inside the building was destroyed when it collapsed. He does not have insurance, but hopes to have the business back up and running soon. But we won't be back up to power in probably six months. But we hope to be making some gates in within two or three weeks. On top of losing the building, he also says he slipped on the snow during the storm on Friday and broke his leg. New tonight, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump says he'll skip the final GOP presidential debate before the Iowa caucuses. Fox News is hosting the debate Thursday night in Des Moines. Trump has criticized the network for, quote, playing games and for including anchor Megyn Kelly as a debate moderator. Trump says that she is bad at her job and shouldn't be allowed to participate. Fox News did announce that Kentucky Senator Rand Paul would be back on the main stage for that debate. New tonight, a broken water main caused quite a scene in the Lexington neighborhood. Take a look. This is some eyewitness video that was shot late this afternoon on Sherberg Road in Cardinal Valley. As you can see, water gushed high into the air. Kentucky American water crews turned off the water and spent a few hours making repairs. Everything is now back to normal, and investigators say only six customers were affected. They're not sure what caused that water main break. Doctors have a warning for people heading to the Caribbean or South America soon. In nine minutes, what you need to know about a certain virus. And then how police say a principal gave her own life to save children's lives outside an Indiana elementary school. Millions of dollars in damage, hundreds of boats in need of repair, all thanks to last week's snowstorm. How will the damage affect dock owners and the future of Lake Cumberland? Trouble at the Lake, Thursday at 6 on WKYT.
thank you for once again making WKYT your most watched television station. There is a difference in local news, and you help us prove it every day. Thank you. WKYT stands for Kentucky. When my grandfather started selling cars in 1915, cars were one price. When you go to Gates Hyundai, every car is marked. One price, you don't need to negotiate. One price, no negotiation at Gates Hyundai in Richmond. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. Welcome. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So today you're going to choose a mobile office. Okay. You can choose this Chevy Silverado, which offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, or you can choose this Ford F-150, which doesn't offer Wi-Fi. But to make up for it, we added a trailer, a satellite antenna, and Dolores. Hey, fellas. <laughs> what? So which one do you want? I'd pick the Chevy. <laughs> Definitely. Or get this dependable Silverado All-Star Edition with a total value of $7,250. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. This is Brett Melrose. With winter almost here, the experienced team at Fayette Heating and Air stands ready to serve you. Dedicated to keeping you and your family comfortable around the clock. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. With no additional overtime fees ever. Fayette Heating and Air, we're the biggest because we're the best. And we're here for you anytime, day or night. Call 233-0424. Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solutions. I wish I could tell you that Gates Hyundai was number one in sales. We may never be number one, but I can tell you that our focus is to be number one for you. And that's something we've been doing for over 100 years. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Rewind 105.5. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Last night at this time, we were showing you a 24-hour temperature change map that looked like you dropped a little red paint bomb on it. Uh, tonight, it's all about the blue that is showing up on that same map as temperatures are much, much colder than what we had at this same point last night. How much colder? Well, Lexington is 16 degrees colder. We are working on 20 degrees colder for areas to our west. The temperatures still for this time of year, not bad. 31 degrees Lexington, 30 cold spot in northern Kentucky. Most areas at or just a little below the freezing mark. Watch out for a touch of some black ice trying to fire up on some of the roadways later tonight and into tomorrow morning, especially. Wind chill, 21 degrees right now into Lexington. How about the next 24 hours? We're into the low and mid-20s to start tomorrow off. Tomorrow, chances are, is a fairly gray day. Clouds will try to break at times into the afternoon. So can we see some peaks of sunshine? Yes. Is it likely? More clouds than sun tomorrow. How about that? And early in the day, especially, a snow flurry is a possibility. That Defender Radar Network firing up early today with some rain across southeastern Kentucky. That stuff continues to scoot on out of town. And we are left now with temperatures that are seasonal for this time of year. The three-day threat track. Nothing to worry about tomorrow outside of a stray snowflake. I don't think we're worried about a flurry after what we went through just a few days ago. Are we? Thursday's forecast looking good. Though Thursday night into Friday morning, we get one more little cold front into central and eastern Kentucky. And late evening data suggesting Thursday night, Friday morning, a little sugar coating of snow is a possibility across parts of central and eastern Kentucky. Not a huge, huge deal, but if it hits in time for that morning rush hour with a little sugar coating can cause uh, some uh, problems. We'll see how that one goes. Hour by hour forecast is in. It's brand new with the numbers showing temperatures tomorrow. Hard pressed to get much above the freezing mark. It keeps the clouds around as we go into tomorrow night as well with temperatures down into the 20s. Forecast for your Thursday. Southerly winds increase ahead of a cold front. That same front that I'm talking about with the sugar coating of snow Friday morning. We hit the 40 degree mark if not mid 40s into parts of the area. By Thursday evening into Friday morning, this numbers uh, are showing into the upper 20s to low 30s, but also there will be a little band of some flurries and snow showers into parts of central and eastern Kentucky. And the numbers for Friday afternoon coming in a little colder now with readings that will be generally into the 30s. 
Fast forward into the weekend, a milder pattern is taking shape across the Ohio Valley and Point South. However, this is a model from earlier in the day. I just looked at a new run coming in that says Monday we get cold again for a day before this storm system wraps up across the Plain States and then works its way into parts of the Great Lakes. Let's pretend this is how it's going to work out. That mild air will then give way quickly to a big drop in temperatures as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. For the next few days, it's seasonal. Nothing out of the ordinary for January. We will warm it up this weekend. Confident of that. Monday, we'll go with the 60 for now. We may hedge it down a little bit tomorrow if some of those late evening models are correct with a little shot of some cold trying to get in here quicker. We are cold tomorrow, though, it looks but like. But at least Saturday and Sunday continue yep. to look dry and sunny and uh, warm right now, 50s. Good deal. Mm. Thank you, sir. An historic Central Kentucky Bridge is about to receive an upgrade. We'll explain and show you that in seven minutes. There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimas in stock at Cartown Kia. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. Visit CartownKiaUSA.com today. Sometimes it seems you spend your whole day on the go. But no matter where you go, you'll probably run into a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent. With agents in every Kentucky county, Farm Bureau is there for you. Pretty much wherever you are. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. You're never far away from a new Toyota. Find the latest offers on your tablet. Check inventory on your phone. Toyota is everywhere you are at buyatoyota.com. Now, during Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, get the bold 2016 Camry with zero for 60 financing, plus $500 bonus cash. Get $1,250 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. So visit here and then come in here for your new Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Lottery's Keto, the exciting way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Welcome. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So today you're going to choose a mobile office. Okay. You can choose this Chevy Silverado, which offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, or you can choose this Ford F-150, which doesn't offer Wi-Fi. But to make up for it, we added a trailer, a satellite antenna, and Dolores. Hey, fellas. <laughs> what? So which one do you want? I'd pick the Chevy. <laughs> Definitely. Or get this dependable Silverado All-Star Edition with a total value of $7,250. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Arby's two for five mix and matches back and better than ever. Unless you don't get the new loaded curly fries, in which case, it's back and the same as ever. Arby's, we have the meat. Ciao, I'm Sam Dick, inviting WKYT TV viewers to join me on a tour to classic Italy, October 8th to the 16th. Our vacation includes two nights near Venice, two nights in Florence, and three nights in the eternal city of Rome. We'll also visit Vatican City and travel through the charming Tuscan countryside. Our tour includes all airfare, great hotels, many delicious meals, and more. For your free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimas in stock at Cartown Kia. Drive away in a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month only at Cartown Kia. Visit CartownKiaUSA.com today. Tonight, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is warning travelers heading to the Caribbean or South America to take extra precautions to avoid the Zika virus. It's spread by mosquitoes and has been linked to birth defects. Danielle Nottingham has the latest. World health officials are warning travelers, especially pregnant women, that the Zika virus is spreading through Latin America and the Caribbean. Word is spreading fast, as is the disease. It's been found in at least 20 countries. Brazil has more than a million cases. Zika virus is only spread by a very specific species of mosquito that is not yet seen in the United States. Only about one in five people who get it will become sick, and the symptoms are mild. Fever a rash, muscle and joint pain, eye pain and eye swelling, and in some cases, headaches and muscle fatigue. 
But for pregnant women, Zika has been linked to babies born with microcephaly, an abnormally small head and an underdeveloped brain at birth. So far, there is no treatment or vaccine, so health officials say the best way to avoid Zika is to prevent mosquito bites. Cover up, use insect repellent, and if possible, stay in a hotel, stay in a location with firm windows and possibly even air conditioning. The CDC is recommending pregnant women avoid traveling to countries where the virus is active. Some airlines and cruise companies are granting refunds or waiving change fees. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News. There have been at least a dozen cases of the Zika virus in the U.S. since last year, but all of the patients are believed to have gotten the virus abroad before coming here. New tonight, a tragedy outside an Indiana elementary school. Police say the school's principal was killed when a school bus hit her. Indianapolis police say the bus suddenly lurched forward, went over a curb, and hit principal Susan Jordan and two 10-year-old children. Police say the children were taken to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Firefighters say Jordan was able to push other children out of the way before the bus hit her. A Jessamine County state senator has filed a bill that would give line-of-duty death benefits to Kentucky paramedics. It's in honor of paramedic John Mackey, who died after being hit by a car while on duty last fall. Right now in Kentucky, the families of fallen paramedics do not receive benefits like the $80,000 families of fallen police officers and firefighters receive. Mackey's wife, who is also a paramedic, says these kinds of benefits would help her family. My children have often asked, why does their, the death of their father mean less or something different than the death of the firefighters or the police? Senator Tom Buford of Nicholasville filed the bill. If passed, it would cover paramedic deaths going back to July of 2014, so the Mackey family would be included. Construction will begin tomorrow on the historic Singing Bridge in downtown Frankfort. The bridge has been down to one lane and one sidewalk since last summer because of load limits. State transportation leaders say crews will install new steel on the bridge. They'll have to close the bridge at some point as part of the construction. And when the project is finished around the end of May, two lanes will be open on the bridge along with both sidewalks. The Cats are a big favorite tomorrow night. It's a game they cannot overlook with Kansas coming up this weekend, and there are a lot of reasons for Kentucky's improved play. Isaiah Briscoe, Marcus Lee, talk about that next in sports. WKYT's High School Game Time is brought to you by Eastern Kentucky University. If you've been injured in an automobile accident, don't give a written or recorded statement until you speak to us. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. There's no one road out there. No one surface. No one way of driving on each and every road. But there is one car that can conquer them all. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Five driving modes let you customize the steering, shift points, and suspension to fit the mood you're in and the road you're on. The 2016 C-Class formatting starting at 40,950. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims & Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859, call ASK for your free consultation. Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $75 million. All the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. Visit buyatoyota.com for a huge selection of offers like this Camry lease for only $179 a month. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. Are you planting a tree? Are you digging a garden? Are you digging a swimming pool? Are you putting up a mailbox? Always call 811 before you dig. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. 
Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Kentucky schools are not failing. We can't be failing if more students are graduating from high school, more students are making proficient advance in the state mandated testing. We have successes in our school every single day. Whether students love or hate science, I'm going to work with them to make sure that they get what they need from my class to be successful once they leave my class. Come see the awesome work our students are doing and you'll see success. My phone rang at home and it was Bill going, hey, what would you think about teaming up? We were both good at doing what we knew how to do. We were not businessmen. We were landscapers. The first two accountants just said, I don't know what to do with you guys. One of our consultants connected us with Traditional Bank. Traditional Bank has always had a team member running with us. Great people. Love working with them. They always say, thank you for your business. Of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. Visit buyatoyota.com for 0% financing, special leases, and Toyota Care no-cost maintenance. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. The Kentucky Wildcats have put together two good games, and they are a heavy favorite as Missouri comes into Rupp Arena tomorrow night. The Cats have been getting great guard play. Derek Willis is making a big contribution. And as assistant coach Tony Barbie said today, there's been a renewed focus on defense. The players say they're communicating better, and practice has been more competitive. Especially in practice, we try to stay competitive and uh, get into each other. Um, those last couple weeks, we kind of backed up in practice and kind of wasn't very competitive and that's something we really stressed this week is to stay competitive and go and go at each other. We're all coming from different places where we all was the man wherever we came from. So I mean just trying to get everybody to come together and just talk together as a team was one of the big things that we tried to get accomplished and I think that when we do do that that our defense is better, our offense is better and we're playing much better. The Cats have a big matchup Saturday with fifth-ranked Kansas in Lawrence. Kentucky has a lot of young players, and Tony Barbie admitted today overlooking Missouri could be a concern. Yeah, you can. You can, but that's why you rely on your veterans and, and your focus and practice. There's been no talk of the next game around here, um, but it's kind of inevitable for younger guys to possibly look ahead, but we've got to focus on Missouri. I mean, that's the next game, and that's, that's the biggest game on the schedule. So it is another home game for the Cats tomorrow night hosting Missouri. It's the late tip, and you can see it at 9 o'clock on the SEC Network. A state top 10 showdown tonight in the city. Third-ranked Dunbar against eighth-ranked Lafayette. They, that's how they set in this week's AP poll. It was totally one-sided after the first quarter. The Dogs, they go inside to the big guy, Dante Brown. He powers it off the glass, fouled, and he gives the stare. Ooh, off the miss, Jordan Lewis rebounds. He had nine assists, one of them an over-the-head 30-foot pass to Tavion Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth with 25. Dogs by six. Lafayette's Ross Jenkins had to be held to what's a season-low three points. His only basket right there. And then to end the quarter, Darius Williams as smooth as silk. 15 for Darius and Dunbar. No trouble tonight with Lafayette. Final 73-42. Clark County looking to make it four straight wins, taking on Bourbon County. We go to the third, and Emeron Blackburn is going to lose the ball for a moment. Get it back. Buries the three-pointer. Colonels, 49-45 lead. Clark County responds with the three of their own. Ryan Cooper from long distance. Bourbon would have the lead after three. We go to the fourth. Jordan mentioned misses the step back three. Giles Anderson skies in for the putback, and the Cardinals come from behind to win it. 79-72. Paris playing host to Mason County. Potential 10th region championship. You never know. Greyhounds jumped out to a 7-2 lead. Darren Williams pulls up to the corner. The three brings Mason County back into it. Hounds on the run. Look at this pass. James Clark, the one-hand bounce pass to Eric Johnson, lays it in. Paris with lead by 10. But Mason makes a late run. Isaiah Garrison banks it home, and the Royals close the game on a 13-2 run. They get the road victory 60-56. to Back to Dunbar for Lafayette and the Lady Bulldogs. And Kiara Pankins, just a beast for the Generals. Rebound and put back in the foul. 31 points, 13 rebounds for Pankins. Dunbar hanging around for about two and a half, three quarters. 
Anaya Cotton, the runner of the lane, she had 12. Lafayette would have a little too much. Caroline Bennett, three of six from long range. She had 15. Lafayette wins 69. 255. And finally, American Pharaoh voted Sportsman of the Year at the Bluegrass Sports Commission Awards Dinner tonight in Lexington. The Triple Crown and Breeders' Cup winner receiving 141 first place votes, winning by a record margin. Who'd have thunk it, huh? John Calipari finished second in the voting. Western Kentucky quarterback Brandon Dowdy, he was third. Stay with us. Matt Jones is next. It's official. Green's Toyota of Lexington is Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer for the fourth year in a row. We're celebrating all month long with amazing deals on our entire inventory. 0% APR on Toyota's most popular models. 1.9% APR on all certified pre-owned Toyotas. Plus, save $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Come in and let us show you our appreciation for making us Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Great people. Great cars. Great Green's. Home. Home is about comfort, and that is exactly what we create. When you partner with us, you team with experts, not only in the latest technologies, but uniquely skilled in turning know-how into wow. A home that starts when you are ready and lets you know what's happening. A home that works for you. Not just any home, your home. Get your free in-home consultation today. Bluegrass Home Entertainment. Are you ready to be wowed? Spend an evening with James Taylor and his all-star band. The American Icon is back on tour. April 24th, Rupp Arena. The multiple Grammy Award winning James Taylor and a night full of his biggest hits. Tickets make a great Valentine's gift. On sale Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster. James Taylor, another Beaver production. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. Hello there. Hello. How do you like the car you're sitting in right now? It's so nice. I think it's beautiful. I like this. You're sitting in a truck that's its own Wi-Fi hotspot. Really? I didn't know they did that. Woo! Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Who are we talking to you? So you think that's a good thing, to get auto show bonus cash? Who doesn't like having cash handed to them? Use your auto show bonus cash to get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Chevy Cruze. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. No two babies are alike. And no two birthing experiences are alike. At the Women's Hospital at St. Joseph East, we believe you should have your baby your way with a birthing plan designed around you and a level three neonatal ICU. A personalized childbirth experience isn't just good for mom, it's good for baby. Kentucky One Health, the one name in healthcare. When newsmakers want to make more news, they come to Colbert. I want to thank you for running for president. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. What's happening? Weeknights. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. It's almost signing day, and things are starting to heat up for Mark Stoops and the UK football team. They have a chance to have the best class that Mark Stoops has had at Kentucky and possibly the best class that UK football has ever had. They have four stars and three five-star players, something that was unheard of. Now, part of that, of course, are the kids from Kentucky. But he's been able to go to Ohio and some other states and bring in top talent. Now, in the last week, they have to avoid what happened last year. You may remember that right before signing day last year, three of Kentucky's big players ended up going elsewhere. Now, I don't think they expect that to happen this season, but if they can somehow keep everybody together, they have a top 25 class and a chance to build a future. Look, Mark Stoops is going to have to get it done on the field. We all know that. But recruiting is where it starts. And it's safe to say Stoops has probably been the best recruiter UK football has ever had. Keep this class together. It's four straight good ones and a chance to build a team. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime. 
Matt, thank you. I know we're supposed to talk about like the next day's weather, but I can't uh -huh. help but look at Saturday and Sunday <laughs> Saturday, all the time. Saturday's five stars. So, I mean, since we're talking recruiting, yeah, right? Go. We're throwing out stars Saturday, Sunday, four to five stars at least. Temperatures in the 50s. What little snow is left will likely melt by then. Boy, that was a good transition. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm get paid the big bucks here. All right. Thanks for watching.